Okay, welcome to another episode of Inspired Content, where we're looking at two short stories. One from the best science, the world's best science fiction of 1969, and one from A Wizard's Desert. The two stories this time are The Selkie Kids and The Way of the Prophet. The Selkie Kids is actually in the science fiction one. It's spelled S-E-L-C-H-E-Y. I guess that's what they're saying there. And... Alright, so I'm going to give Selkie Kids a 6.3 out of a 6.8. Um, I think the only thing really hurting it on this one is it's sort of dated science. It's a little... I mean, it's, it's harder to get behind now. It's, it's sort of like a story where a kid, you know, meets up with his friends after school by using his jet pack and, you know, one of the kids gets hurt by a flying car incident. It's just, it's not... Anyway, the uh, Way of the Prophet, I give a 7.1 out of a 7.5. I kind of like the twist on it. I like the sort of sort of sarcastic tone of it. Um, but in the long run, it's... It's not a story that feels like there's more to it that I could explore or play with a lot. So it's just kind of like, it's a tidy little bundle that's not meant to be more than what it is, and it's just kind of done. So, ideas these inspired. Kids that were created by taking DNA from the remains and the descendants of the greatest minds of human history, and walking back the descendants' DNA to fill the holes in the DNA of those greatest minds of history. And then the children are raised by some of the researchers right up to a point in which the world falls apart. And the in the collapse, the children become orphans. When the rebuilding begins, they all feel drawn back to where they came from and begin to uncover their origins. How are they different from their originals? Who are their originals? And have some of them become monsters? Because what made one brilliant in one time frame could make them psychotic in another. Children taken and made into chimeras while they are young and unaware of what they are what what they are being exposed to. And they end up orphans moved after a war which scatters them in refugee camps and to other countries and they begin to journey home after the war and unravel who and what they are. The children of a eugenics program run by a cult that ultimately gets into a conflict with the government and they're wiped out along with all records of the, the eugenics program. The kids go through counseling and foster care before they get the chance to discover who they are. But, the story can start with, say, one of those kids doing a school project or a report on the topic of that situation they were in and finding that some of the other kids also were interacting on uh, doing some research into that topic and so they begin to discover who and what they are 
In the story, there's a prince who goes on a quest to learn the lessons that he will be able to use to rule wisely over his kingdom and benefit his kingdom when he takes the throne. But in this case, I would like to see it. The prince learns that there are powers in desire. And to control your desires so that you only make sure to desire only what serves progress and benefits everyone. At each stop on his quest, the prince must do the labors that the elderly devotees are doing at each stop along the way, because they're, they're, they're so old they need help doing that. But they're devoted to making sure these things happen. And so, he's doing these things not only for himself, like uh, going to a banquet he has to help prepare and set out the food and clean up afterwards. He's doing it for himself to benefit from the banquet, but he's also doing it for other travelers who happen in at the same time and share words of wisdom with them as they all do this together. And so, in the process of serving others and listening, he gains wisdom that lets him benefit his kingdom as he assumes the throne. The prince wants to be the first in over five generations to find the original way of the prophets. And he does. And the thing he's, he discovers on the way is that the way is filled with archaic rules about spousal abuse and owning slaves and all those little nasty things, and thus he returns home, he makes up a completely different story of a false path and the metaphoric discovery he made along the way, and once on the throne has the road rebuilt to obliterate the way of the prophets, because it is clearly no longer suited for the world. Alright, so those are the ideas and inspirations I got from this batch. Hopefully there's something in there for you, and I'll see you for the next episode.